I guess you guys have won a bunch of games. I'm not going to say like pretty, but you scored a bunch of points. Uh, this felt like an ugly kind of win. What does it feel like to be able to grab one of those? Uh, I mean, we've had our, our share of them. Um, you got to be able to win big ones, you know, where it might be a, a blowout. You got to be able to win just good games that's closely contested against good teams. And sometimes it's going to be ugly. You know, they, they play physical, um, aggressive. They got five guys crashing, uh, offensive rebounds. Um, and then it was one of those games where I, I felt like we had a, a little cushion. You know, it wasn't like they ever came too close down the stretch, but then they was like playing the foul game and, you know, crashing and, you know, trying to draw fouls. So I think it just, it became ugly more so down the stretch than it was a game. Um, but regardless, you want to try to win these games. And, um, you know, we was able to do that. Uh, I'd say two of the bigger plays in that fourth quarter, you draw and fouls on, on the threes coming off that triple handoff. What did you see that allowed you to make that adjustment? Uh, well, the first one was just into the shot clock. You know, I got the ball and I looked at the opposite clock and it was like two seconds. Uh, so I just, I knew he was going to contest it because he knew I had to shoot it as well. And I kind of double pumped. And um, as I was coming down, I felt him, you know, right there underneath me. And um, I came down and I knew I was going, our feet could have got tangled up. And I really was just trying to roll with the fall, you know, so I didn't actually hurt my ankle and um, got that call. And then the next one, um, you know, I went to the opposite corner and I heard their coach, you know, saying, Chase, you know, just chase him. He's they come in the dame and I knew he would be in a full sprint. Um, so I just, I came off of it hard and. You know, I made sure that I got into my shooting motion knowing that he was running full speed and he would run into me. Yes. You're about to start a road trip. You're going to be in New York for almost a week right during the holidays. How different is that going to be than the typical trip? And what's your plan in terms of celebrating the holiday and that type of thing? Yeah, I think it'll be different because it's uh, two early games uh, off the rip. Um, those are always a little bit tougher. You know, you're coming in, you're coming off a of dead travel. Um, you got to go to sleep pretty early to be able to get up and be ready to play that early. Um, you got family in town. There's just a, a lot going on. It's the holiday season, so you don't want to um, avoid your family. You know, you want to bring the holiday in uh, with your people. But um, at the end of the day, uh, it's a luxury that we're able to, to do that. You know, I don't think it gets in the way of the fact that it's a, it's a business trip for us. We got games to win, and um, it's that simple. Um, you know, we got to be ready to handle our business. You got we're just a little ways past like the quarter way of the season now, just coming off this home saying where do you kind of just feel like you guys are at generally just just into you know yourself and new system and everything like that? I think we trending upwards. Uh, you know, I think defensively we're still having some miscommunications, making some mistakes, but I think we're defending a lot better than we than we had been starting the season. Um, I think offensively we you know we finding ourselves uh, sort of establishing how we're gonna play and how it works for everybody. And it's still not perfect on either end, but uh, we finding a way to win games. And um, a lot of times, you I've been in situations where you you win one, you lose one. You win one, you lose one. So we've been able to win consistently as we've been learning and going through the process. And that's how you want to have it. Um, people are more open to you know taking criticism, instructions, or whatever when you're winning. So um, I think because we've been able to do that, we've been able to grow through it and continue to get better. And we just got to stay with that. And I think. Um, you know, we'll get to where we want to get to as a team. Um, going back to the trip, you've, you've played on Christmas Day once? Once, yeah, at Utah. Is there, is there still some juice for that? I mean, you've been in the league a while, but to, like, to have that spotlight game? I wouldn't even say spotlight game. I think okay. just growing up watching the Christmas games, um, you know, it's a, it's a special uh, day. It's a special opportunity to be able to do that. Um, I wish they still did the Christmas uniforms and, you know, had a whole thing around Christmas. But um, just being able to do it, um, you know, I'm sure everybody loves the fact that, that they can play on Christmas. Is You know, it's a prime time game. You know, is even when there's a team with a bad record or a team that's not considered a, a high level team, those games still have the energy of a, a real game. So um, we get to participate. You know, it's been a while. I think it's been like four years since I, I last played on Christmas and it was the Last game of the night, it was in Utah. It was just, you know, I think this is the, the real Christmas experience, you know, prime time in Madison Square Garden. Uh, so I'm looking forward to it. How are y'all Are y'all in the same hotel throughout? Because I know you, get, you have two games in New York, then you go to Brooklyn. Do you just stay in the same place for that whole five days? Or do you would know. No idea. Okay. I assume we, we will. <laughs> 
I don't know. <laughs> Not to say that you're the only player who thinks this way, but you talk a lot about how, you know, when you feel like your shots aren't going in, you find different ways to impact. Do you feel in any way that that's rubbed off on your teammates who maybe, you know, deal with that in some shape, way, or form? Um, I, I wouldn't say it's rubbing off on them. I think we got a lot of experienced guys who've been around for a long time. And when you play in this league for long enough, you experience a lot of things, you know, so nothing is really new to you. Um, you go to different teams, you find you have different roles um, over the course of a season is different. It's not always your time. Um, it's always different things coming up over the course of the season and you got to find a way to still be productive and still do what you have to do for the team. So um, I wouldn't say it's rubbing off. I just think we got an experienced team and um, I can't see you. <laughs> we got an experienced team and, um, you know, guys, guys know what it is. You know, they know that whether or not shots are falling, we can't let that uh, determine how we're going to play the game. Is there anything new or different you've learned about yourself being around this team this season? Uh, just uh, that I'm, uh, what's the word? Um, I adjust well. You know, I'm able to adapt, I guess, to different environments pretty well. Um, you know, even through the highs and lows of it, I think I, what I've learned about myself, I think I knew it, but this was the first time doing this, you know, and I've, I think I've learned that about myself. It's just, you know, I can, I can deal with whatever comes with change, you know, on any level or, you know, whatever situation.